Hi, I'm Robert with OS Training, and we're excited to be working with InMotion Hosting to bring you this tutorial series on how to update your Drupal 8 site. Thanks also to InMotion for providing the server space used in this tutorial. Throughout the life of your Drupal site, you'll have to perform updates of various types as new features, bug fixes, and security patches are released for Drupal itself, Drupal modules, and Drupal themes. This process is crucial to maintaining a well-running and secure site. Note that during this demonstration, if there's nothing that needs updating on the Drupal installation you're working on, you can still follow along with most of the steps of this tutorial. At some points, you may just be replacing your up-to-date Drupal components with an exact copy of those same components, but doing this will get you used to the process of updating Drupal. So here is our Drupal site. Let's say we're going to do something on our site and follow along as I go to our status report page to check the status of our site. I'm going to click on reports and you won't see these drop down menus. I only have these because of a module I installed to demonstrate the update process. That's the admin toolbar module. But we're going to go to reports, click on status report. And we have a warning here letting us know that Drupal core is out of date. There's a newer version available. We have 8.0.1 is now out. Same with modules and themes. We have a message telling us that some of our modules and or themes are out of date. They will be read if it's a security update that's available for one of our modules or themes or for core. That's simply telling us that it's more urgent to go ahead and update. Aside from the status report page, if I specifically wanted to check just for updates alone, I could go to reports and available updates. And then it's going to show us specifically what all needs updating. There's a new version of Drupal core. There's a new version of these two modules. And there's a new version of these two themes. Now, before we start applying updates, the very first step to updating Drupal is always going to be to back up your site in case anything goes wrong during the update. Be sure to check out our backup tutorial which is an extremely important series anyway. Make sure you do that before you go any further, especially if you're working on a live site while following these steps. So following along, once you've backed up your Drupal site in its entirety, the last step before we actually begin the updates themselves is to put our site in maintenance mode. We'll do that by going to the configuration menu. Notice on various menus, you'll also have this red box telling you that updates are available even if you don't go straight to the status report page. Under development, you'll see we have the maintenance mode option. We'll click on that. We'll check put site into maintenance mode. And we can change the message here if we'd like. But we're just going to go with this. Make sure you click save configuration, otherwise this doesn't do anything. And we do this to prevent anyone from trying to write to the database while we're making other changes as well as to prevent people from viewing our site while it's temporarily not functioning properly in the middle of an update. So now the site is in maintenance mode. If we go back to the home page, we get this message just reminding us the site is in maintenance mode right now. And we can only view this if we have permissions to view the site in maintenance mode. Anyone else who visits anonymously or not logged in, we'll get a message just letting them know that the site is down temporarily and it'll be back up shortly.